The Vulture, and The Little Girl. Kevin Carter is a South African photographer. In 1993, Carter visited Sudan and explored the lives of the malnourished people of Sudan, which had become the world's darkest state. He visited the United Nations Nutrition and Welfare Center and photographed the people in its facilities. The photo was taken at a United Nations Nutrition Center near Ayodhya. The child here is a girl. When her parents were trying to get food from a plane that brought food to the center, this girl was hungry and was going to go there. An ostrich landed nearby. Taking care not to disturb the bird, he waited 20 minutes for the ostrich to get close enough. The photograph was taken after the moose was positioned for the best possible image, and the moose was then driven off. The eagle waited here to eat the girl until she died. She seems to be suffering from malnutrition. In 1993, Sudan had a very high incidence rate of 85 present and 32 percent of children were malnourished and underweight. Ayodhya was an impoverished city with more than 10 elderly people dying every day without food, and UNESCO was involved in distributing food to them. The photo was first published in the New York Times in 1993. It was published there as a little girl, weakened from hunger, collapsed recently along the trail to a feeding center in Ayod. Nearby, a vulture waited. It won the American Magazine Picture of the Year Award that year. It also won the 1994 Pulitzer Prize for Featured Photography. Kevin Carter received great publicity with these awards and is noted in the records that he was honored by many socially high-standard people. Carter received a large amount of money, but he was worried. He had a feeling that he was selling a child who was dying of starvation. During his travels in Sudan, he had seen people starving to death, ethnic conflicts, etc. In fact, he really had a blast. On July 27, 1994, the news broke in South Africa. Kevin Carter has committed suicide. The king was shocked by the news, and it was shocking to photographers and fans all over the world who knew him. When Carter was a child, he often went to a playground to play and committed suicide by inhaling carbon monoxide in his cab. No matter how hard he tried, he could have done things differently. Carter's life was the subject of a 1996 album by the rock band Manic Street Preachers, titled Kevin Carter.